Okay, I want to do a couple more problems just to give you more of an intuitive feel for these exponential functions and their derivatives. So over here I've written uh, three functions, y equal e to the x, y equal e to the negative x, and y equal e to the 2x. And so here I've differentiated each one, y prime is e to the x. Over here y prime is negative e to the negative x by the chain rule. When I differentiate e to the negative x, the derivative is e to the negative x times the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. So that's why I have the negative, one, the, the negative sign out in front here. Here I have e to the 2x. Its derivative is 2 e to the 2x, because when I differentiate this according to the chain rule, I get e to the 2x. Then I have to differentiate 2x, which gives me 2. So that's why I have 2 e to the 2x. So I have the functions up here, and then I have their derivatives right here. Here's the graphs of the functions, not very accurate, but just so you can get an idea of the differences between them. y equal e to the x, y equal e to the negative x, y equal e to the 2x. y equal e to the 2x just goes up faster than as this graph right here goes up. So um, that's the difference between those two. Okay, let's look and see what happens when x is equal to 0 for each of these functions, their derivatives and graphs. So when x is equal to 0, the value of the function right here, x equals 0, y is equal to e to the 0, which is 1. How about its derivative, y prime equal e to the x? Well, it's 1 also. How about the, that's the slope of the tangent line right there. What's the equation of the tangent line? Well, it's y equals m, the slope, 1, times x plus the y-intercept, which is 1. So y equal x plus 1 is the equation of this line right here, the equation of the tangent line. Let's go over to this function. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to e to the negative 0, which is e to the 0, which is 1. So I get y equal 1 right here. y prime is equal to negative e to the negative 0. Well, e to the negative 0 is 1, so I have the opposite of that, or negative 1. So that's the slope of the tangent line, and then here the um, equation of the tangent line is going to be negative x plus b, the y-intercept, which is 1. So negative x plus 1, that's this line right here. y equal negative x plus 1. Okay, I'll go over to my last one right here. When x is equal to 0, 2 times 0 is 0, so e to the 0 is 1. When I put in 0 here for the derivative, I get 2 times 0, which is 0. e to the 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. So that has a slope of 2, and that makes sense because that graph is going up quicker than this graph right here. So its slope is 2. Slope of the line tangent there is 2, where the slope of the line tangent here is 1. And then how about the equation of the line tangent? It's the slope 2 times x plus b, the y-intercept, which is 1. So y equal 2x plus 1, that's the equation of that tangent line. So if you look at some of these simple exponential functions, look at their derivatives, look at their graphs, and then find the, um, the value of the derivative and the function at different values of x, and then look for the equation of the line tangent, you'll become more familiar with these exponential functions. So what we've done here is we've let x equal 0. We found the value of each function when x is 0, the slope of the line tangent when x is equal to 0 by finding the derivative, and then the equation of the tangent line by just taking that slope and putting in the y-intercept, getting that equation in slope-intercept form. So just to get you a little more familiar with these exponential functions, that's what this is all about.